In today's video, I'll talk about my top 5 best probability gaming PCs for the month of March in 2022. Now, if you don't know me, I update this list every month, but most importantly, I update the description where I leave a lot of probability PCs, so if your budget is not on this list, don't worry about it because you will have an updated list down below in the description. On this video, you will only see a budget from $700, which is what I recommend on an ultra budget gaming PC, all the way up to $2,300. So if your budget is between that range, this video is definitely for you. But like I said before, if your budget is above this number or below 700, you will have more links in the description. Without more to say, let's start with the video. With the first one and this one, it's the bare minimum in my opinion for gaming. We have the Big Tools by HP. This one is the 15L. I have a whole video talking about it, so I'm not going to get into too much detail. The price is 700 dollars and I wouldn't go any lower than this PC for gaming right now if you want a 1080p 144hz monitor which is what you want to aim for if you're going to play competitive games such as Valorant, Fortnite and CSGO. Now I'm going to talk about the specifications if you don't understand anything about components on a gaming PC don't worry about it because I'll explain in a second what this PC is capable of running. For the CPU we get the Ryzen 5 5600G I think it's a really good budget CPU and it's just below the 5600X then for the GPU we get the GTX 1660 Super with 6 gig of VRAM which once again is what I recommend for gaming at 1080p right now. With this GPU you will be able to actually play every single game at 1080p 60 frames per second without any problems and for those competitive games that I've talked about before like Fortnite you will be able to run these games at above 144 FPS on average and that is something great for high refresh rate monitors. Then for the RAM and the storage this is where I recommend you upgrading this PC. It's really easy I'll explain in a second. You get 8 gigs of RAM on dual channel so it's not going to be that terrible and then you get 256 gigabytes of SSD and I'll explain these two parts. Now if you upgrade the RAM to 16 gigs which is what I recommend doing, this is really easy, just click on customize and buy, go to the memory section and change it to 16 gigs. If you do that you will get a better experience at gaming with better 1% lows and most importantly it's going to be way better for those high RAM demanding video games like Fortnite. And you're also going to get a better experience at multitasking, streaming and editing with one PC so if you're also thinking of streaming at 1080p and do some video editing definitely consider this upgrade. And then for the storage it really depends on the games you play but I think 256 gigs of SSD is not enough especially if you're going to download games like GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 you will need at least one terabyte of SSD or hard drive the one that fits on your budget and keep in mind that you can make these upgrades down the line so you don't have to make them right now but if you make them right now buy 16 gigs of RAM and at least least 500 gigs of SSD. Like I said, this PC is going to be capable of running every single game at 60 frames per second, even high demand video games such as Red Dead Redemption 2 in medium to high settings and that's something great for the price that you're paying and that's why it's at my number 5 on this list. With our number 4 we have the Cyber Power PC from Amazon, this one has the i5 11400F, 8 gigs of RAM, an RTX 2060 and 500 gigabytes of SSD. Once again we have the same issue, I recommend you upgrading the RAM. If you can't do it right now, do it in the future, but this is a crucial upgrade to make if you want a better performance at gaming. Then you get 500 gigabytes of SSD. I think it might be enough once again depending on the games that you play, but the thing that I like about this PC and that is why I put it on this list is because you get the RTX 2060 so you get ray tracing and you also get the i5-11400F which is actually a really decent budget GPU. So for 1080p gaming it's going to be really similar to the Big Tools by HP, but the main difference here is that you can actually upgrade this PC in the future. It has more upgradability than the HP one. Again, I think it's great for the price to performance if you want to just play a game, but if you want to upgrade the motherboard or the power supply in the future, get a system integrator. If you don't know what this is, don't worry about it. I have a whole video talking about PC build versus Preville PC that you can go ahead and watch it in the top right of the screen. I really recommend you watching that video if you're still deciding between a PC build and a Preville PC, but basically this PC is way more upgradable and for gaming, it's going to perform similar so overall I think it's a great PC for the price $960 but you have to consider the RAM upgrade so overall for 1080p gaming this is a great PC and also you get a front mesh panel and three fans in the front which is really good for the airflow for this PC now the CPU cooler is not that great but we are using the i5 11400F so it's not going to be that big of a problem but in the future consider as well upgrading the CPU cooler now if you don't know which one to pick don't worry because in the description 
you will have my favorite upgrades for each PC. With the next one, we have one from New Egg. This one is the ABS Master Gaming Desktop. Now, this one is on sale right now, and you're actually saving $400, which is huge. And you're getting the i5 11400F. Once again, for 1080p gaming, is going to get the job done. But the main difference here is that you get the RTX 3060 Ti instead of the 2060, and that is a huge improvement for gaming. The 3060 Ti is actually going to be great for 1440p gaming as well. So, if you're thinking of getting a 1440p 60Hz monitor or even a 1440p 144Hz for competitive games, this one I think is the entry point. You also get 16 gigs of RAM, so you get more RAM and you get one terabyte of SSD, so you get more storage as well. So, overall, for $1300, I think you're getting a great overall gaming PC. You also get those three front fans and you get the front mesh panel, so the airflow is going to be really decent as well. $1300 and you get a gaming PC that is capable of 1440p 60 frames per second on average and that is something that I consider great on a private PC. Now if you spend an extra $200 for 1500 bucks, you can get this Kitech Place gaming desktop. This one has the i7-11700F which is going to be way better than the i5 for both gaming and multitasking. So you have to keep that in mind if you're into streaming, video editing, multitasking in general. The i7-11700F is going to be way better than the i5-11400F. You get this same exact 3060 Ti, 1TB of SSD and 16 gigs of RAM, but here you also get a 240 millibillers all-in-one liquid cooler. So not only the airflow is going to be better because that front mesh panel is actually better quality than the last one, but you're also getting a 240 all-in-one liquid cooler, which is going to keep the CPU temperatures for this i7 low, and the CPU cooler is way better than the other one that I've showed you before. So let's say you wanted to upgrade the other one with a better CPU, motherboard and cooler that is going to be way more expensive than just $200 and that's why it's worth considering this upgrade if you have $1200 and you want to save up a little bit more now if you cannot save more than $200 don't worry about it the other one is going to be great like I said before for 1080p and even 1440p gaming you don't really need to make the upgrade but if you can do it I think it's worth the price and for the last one and the best one on the list for $2300 we get the ABS Gladiator Gaming Desktop this one has the i7 12700KF, a way better CPU than the i7-11700F. The 12th gen of Intel is much more improved than the previous 11th and 10th gen, so keep that in mind. You also get a 3070 Ti instead of a 3060 Ti, and that is a huge improvement as well for 1440p and even 4K gaming. You get the same 16 gigs of RAM and 1TB of SSD, and you get an Asus C690P Wi-Fi motherboard, and that is something great for also video editing. The only thing that I would recommend you upgrading, especially if you're into video editing, is the RAM. I would add another 2 sticks of 16 gigs to make it 32 gigs of RAM because the main three parts for a video editing build are actually the CPU, the RAM and the storage. Now if you don't care that much about video editing, don't worry, don't upgrade anything. But if you're really into video editing, I think the RAM upgrade is going to be necessary as well with the storage upgrade. But here we are talking about pre-built gaming PCs and that's why I put this PC first on the list. You also get that 240 all-in-one liquid cooler. It's going to be enough for that i7 1200 KF. And if you wanted to build this PC by yourself, I went ahead to the PC part picker, pick the almost exact same components, and the total price will be around 2400. So you will be spending $200 more on the PC build, and you have to build it by yourself, of course. But if you really like PC builds, but that is of course up to your budget and up to your decision. If you want a private PC, you're actually saving some money and the performance will be exactly the same. So that was my whole list. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit the bell button when I upload this type of content and you will be supporting the channel a lot if you do that. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.